And you have President Trump here in the United States focusing on reinvigorating coal and steel industries. You've got a very active private U.S. space community. But how would you say the space race between the United States and China is shaping up? Yeah, China has invested very heavily in its uh, space industry. It, it started its space program in the 1990s, and earlier this week it launched a satellite to the moon. It wasn't even its first satellite to the moon, so that's, that's some serious progress. And they have a lot of ambitious plans to go to Mars. They have plans to go to the moon, uh, send humans to the moon. Uh, they're hoping to do a sample return mission in 2019, send a rover, bring a sample back. Uh, yes, they're investing very heavily, and uh, they also had a... Uh, launch of a private company that launched a rocket last week. One Space is based in China. It launched a suborbital rocket. So they're definitely going to be a big player. But the big factor is Congress passed a law in 2011 that says NASA cannot work directly with China. So that's something the space community is, you know, they're going to be a big player and they're thinking about how China can be involved. So how would you rate the competition between the U.S. private space companies, whether it's SpaceX or Virgin Galactic, Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin, Paul Allen's company? You know, how do they compare? Well, they're all in various stages of development of rockets. Uh, SpaceX, uh, like I mentioned, no, they're already launching customers on their Falcon 9 rocket, which uh, is not as powerful as the Falcon Heavy. The Falcon Heavy uh, launched in February, and it's a more powerful rocket that could do more complicated missions to deep space. But uh, yeah, other, other companies are, are like the Blue Origin is testing its BE-4 uh, rocket on the ground. No, they're testing the engine on the ground and they hope to launch the new Glenn rocket in 2020. So uh, other companies are still planning to get their rockets with customers out, you know, successfully tested out in orbit. Uh, they're all in various stages. Now, some sources that I've spoken to at NASA have expressed concern about the safety of uh, the SpaceX program, given the speed at which it is moving forward. You know, have you heard any of those concerns? Well, they, uh, the big concern I think you're talking about is uh, NASA's safety panel is deciding whether they approve of SpaceX uh, fuel loading process. They call load and go. What SpaceX does is they keep their fuel at very cold temperatures so that they can fit more of it in the tank. It becomes very dense and they have to load it very quickly before launch. And they would do it when this is about lo launching humans. Uh, SpaceX has not la yet launched humans, but they have the Dragon capsule and NASA is thinking about whether or not that's safe to load the fuel while astronauts are on the rocket. So that they're, they're still making a decision about that. But SpaceX does uh, test fires of the engine a few days before a launch. They did that before they launched this Falcon 9 rocket earlier this week. So they're, and they've, you know, they lost two of their rockets a few years ago. So they're, they're, they definitely have safety in mind.